so excited about this book of Daniel. Just don't step off the path because if you do, you're like belly button deep in snow. <laughs> I'm speechless right now. So who can resist that? Hello, it is Friday evening. Yep, 6.30. And we just came back from town and I wanted to tell you about our week. It has been so crazy this week. As most of you know, John is in Atlanta uh, doing some schooling for his job. So he won't be back until Sunday night. We had a big winter storm. It has been snowing and snowing and snowing and snowing. So just in February, they measured 22.5 inches of snow, which is a lot. So right now we have a total of, I think, 67 inches. So I want to show you just how it looks like. So we just shoveled all this before John left. And now we have all this stuff again. Look, this is our table right there. It's just crazy. So, more shoveling arm workout. Today, we actually had a very good meeting with somebody very special. Um, we loaded up the kids and we met the mayor of Fairbanks. And guys, let me tell you, he is the nicest person. He is so down to earth he treated all of the children not like little children but he really he treated them very respectfully he answered all of their questions he showed them everything it is so it was so wonderful to see to have such a great guy in office he actually prayed for the children today he prays before he goes to meetings he prays before the council meets and wow what just it was so incredible we took a couple of clips today so i think we're gonna work on that video probably tomorrow or on sunday so you can see that video very soon so as of right now i'm just gonna unpack and start on dinner and then we'll see what happens so i just printed this new recipe out it's Lemon chicken with, with veggies. I never tried it. I'm not sure. It looks kind of yummy. So I sent the kids through the grocery store with that list. And I had my list and I gave them this list. And I said, please go get me all the stuff. So I'm just going to unpack it now and start on dinner. I'll let you know how it tastes. While the casserole is in the oven, I think it takes an hour and 15 minutes, I actually do the thing that I enjoy the most and that is digging through the Bible. Um, we just started a Daniel precept study. I love doing precept studies. I have been doing Revelation. Um, I did Roman study. And so each of those studies took us a good year. So as you can see, it's very in-depth. It is very, um, it's a lot of information that you get. It is a lot of digging through the scripture. And so we just started Daniel and I am so excited about this book of Daniel. Um, I studied it with the children, I think two years ago, but never really, I never did an adult study. So since the girls, since Emily and Amy, they're both 14, we decided that maybe they should do it with us. And so 
I have been doing a lot of background information that I so desperately need and um, that I can give to the girls so that they have a better understanding of the whole book of Daniel in general. So this is what it looks like right there. And it is pretty intense stuff, but it is a lot of fun. And once when you see how the Bible connects and that scripture interprets scripture, it's just so amazing. And then once when you figure this out, it's almost like you're hooked to it. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Emily has a sleepover, so um, Amy is going to come over later on. And I'm just going to do this, eat, and then go to bed. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning. that we get we gotta have a sleepover with Amy and please bless us with Amen. because we don't have enough snow yet <laughs> we're out of ten in our lakes at the flicker trail flicker trail so it wraps right around the lake here there's a lot of ice fishing so we're gonna take some drone shots for you guys over there as well yeah it's really beautiful so come along it's not too cold I think it's 15 degrees so just don't step off the path because if you do you like belly button deep in snow yeah so <laughs> stay on the track the, the path with us. Check that one out. Hey Lily. Uh -huh. Can you pick up my glass, please? You no. Oh Devin! <laughs>
Sadly, <laughs> she crashed the drone in the trees. How bad is it? I don't, I don't see it. <gasps> Can we do a moment of silence? Yes. <laughs> Dear Lord and drone heaven, <laughs> please save my baby. <laughs> Speechless right now. Me too. Speechless. <laughs> if this one ever becomes a pilot, I'm not sure. If it's I'm actually on my list to do. I'm not sure. She was just droning. It was beautiful. She was just going, and all of a sudden, bam! She crashed into the tree. I got sidetracked. <laughs> but if we crash with the plane, I I know basic survival skills. So we should be good either way. <laughs> Just made it back in the car. It got a little bit chilly out there. We walked a good one, one and a half miles. So now we're back and it just doesn't stop snowing. So it's even on my shirt right there. So here in Alaska, you always have those little huts, uh, mostly coffee huts. And now to warm up, we decided to get a nice coffee and a hot chocolate and we're going to show you our favorite coffee hut. This is it. This is Mocha Moose. So I am going to probably get a white chocolate mocha. Devin decided to have a Oreo shake, Oreo shake instead of a hot chocolate. Yes. Thank you. So here's the Oreo milkshake. Ooh. And here's your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. So who can resist that? This is the coffee and look at that delicious Oreo milkshake. I'll tell you what, they have the best Oreo milkshake. All right, we made it home. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. As you can see, it is still snowing, so we have some snow to shovel. So yeah, see you in the next video and don't forget to count it all as joy.